So last video you guys saw, it was me tearing down the 90p, so getting it all cleaned up and getting it ready for the next game. If you guys don't know, I did end up tearing down the 90p. Obviously, this tank's going to be one of the main contest tanks every year. Like I said, next year it could be this tank, but but this will be our main tank for the contest every year. So, of course, I'll be rescaping it every year. I don't know about, especially if I use this for next year, I don't know if I'm going to actually, the escape I'm about to do today, I don't know if I'm going to use it for next year's contest and i might end up keeping it longer than a year but who knows but the point is we're going to be rescaping this um tank today so obviously i got all my stone here so if you guys don't follow me on instagram you don't you probably don't know that i have all this but i, I have special order 300 pounds of frodo stone so obviously we used frodo stone in that tank so we used quite a bit of it in there already and then obviously we still got a whole bunch i mean um i say i ordered 300 pounds but i definitely got way more than 300 pounds some of these stones are um, push, pu pushing 100 pounds just alone. Some of these are 80 pounds about. So you got this one. That's pro I'll, I'll show you guys later, but that'll probably be my main stone right there. This one's a really neat one. This one's just, this one's super flat, but it's super big. It's about two feet long. It's just a super flat rock, so I doubt I use that. But again, it might be too late by the time you guys see this, but if you guys are interested in any of these stones, if you're interested in Frodo in general, definitely hit me up on Instagram because I will be selling the rest of this off. Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, there are some giant pieces all in these boxes and we got plenty to work with. So yeah, so basically the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring the power stand advance here. I got the big bag, so I'll under, obviously I'll underlame it and then I'll put all the ADA additives like I always do. And of course I'll show you guys that just so not everybody gets to see, not everybody sees every escape of mine. So I'll, I'll walk you guys through that again through this video and then I'll put the soil down. Now again, I don't know if I want to do sand in this tank if if any at all but it just depends when i start escaping if i feel like it's going to enhance escape then 100 percent i will because obviously i can get crazy with the detail and i think it, at the end of the day it looks really good but if i feel like this tank's just going to be better as a straight all carpet yugumi then that's what we're going to do so we'll basically just feel it out and just see what we think but if i feel like i need to add sand and that's going to add to the tank then we're going to do whatever we need to do to make the tank that much better so so yeah so basically i'll start adding down the underlayment and i'll just keep updating you guys i doubt i do a a time lapse in this this is another thing like this tank to where it's just going to take a little while because of course this is my biggest tank and it's the main tank you see in this room so i definitely want this to look good and i just want to take my time with it so this video actually might be like days worth so i might be working on this for days before i actually completely finish it but of course you guys watching you guys will see it in this video but this will all be days of work added all together so so yeah other than that like i said i'll update you guys throughout the clips so i got the power sand advance laid down so the more i look at it like of course i haven't even escaped it yet so i really don't know but i ha i do have a big feeling i will add sand again just for the detail and the it is it is always going to look so much better but Again, we'll see what the scape starts looking like, and if we feel like it's going to look really nice with some stand, that's definitely what we'll do. But either way, we're just more like going to have a carpet in this tank, so it's going to be more like the 45F, for example, to where we have maybe like a carpet in the back and somewhat in the front, and then have some sand in the front. But who knows? We'll we'll keep going. But just want to update you guys. I got the power sand advanced. So the thing about power sand, so you got regular power sand, then you got power sand advanced. Now the difference is. Power Sand Advanced basically has, so all those ADA substrate additives you see, Power Sand Advanced basically already has that inside of this, unlike regular Power Sand where it's just basically plain, and, and then you'd have to add the substrate additives. Well, so this technically, I don't have to add those ADA substrate additives because it's already pretty much in there, but I still do it because I have it, and then plus, it never hurts to add, add more, and most of those do more none of those you can't really overdose a lot of those because they're slow releasing and some of those actually help better grow bacteria too on some of those so it, it's just better it doesn't hurt anything to add more so that's what i'm definitely going to do so that's what i'm going to do next is throw some powders on there and i'll update you guys and i know some people are going to ask so these are the three additives i'm going to be adding so these are the three main ada 
um, substrate additives. So there is a fourth one, but it's um, it's bottom plus, which is just root tabs pretty much. And actually the root tabs, I am gonna add root tabs, even though I'm using Amazonia, but again, it doesn't hurt to have extra, so I'm actually gonna have Tropica. I'm basically gonna rip these open and sprinkle it at the bottom. Um, these are definitely really good and they're slowly released, so they're really nice, doesn't give you a big ammonia spike. Of course, Amazonia will, but but you can add a lot more nutrition to the substrate this way and it won't hurt anything. So yeah, so I'll oh, do all three of these and this and I'll update you guys then. So we got all the substrate additives added in now so you can see it all sprinkled there. And then all see I got the Tropica. You can see, you can probably see a little bit of the dots in there, all the little dots that you see, like the little orange and white dots. That's the tropical capsules that are broke open and just basically sprinkled. Used about like six or eight of them. Um, pretty much a whole pack, but... Yeah, they're still release, so you can put as much as you want in here. It doesn't matter. It's not going to cause any problems, so that's what's nice. So that will just slowly give extra nutrients, especially if we're having a carpet in here. This is going to be definitely a big, big help, and it's going to really get some good growth in the beginning of the setup. But yeah, the next step will be start pouring in soil and get working on the scape. So of course now we have the soil down, and I've used quite a bit so far, so... Pretty much almost everything I have so far except for the powder, which I do have a lot of powder still. Nine liter bag and then I have I think four or three liters. So that'll just be for, you know, if we need to add a lot more soil and then of course for the final look, we'll add all that. But but this is pretty much the bulk of it. So the main stone, obviously I got set here. I think this is pretty much what I'm gonna do as far as, you know, main stone goes wise. I just don't know what else like around it, how I'm gonna do the rest. But I think that right there is going to be the main stone. I think that's going to be as good as it's going to get. So you can see just the amount of detail this piece has. And this piece is super huge. It looks small, but of course this is a 90 piece. So you have to imagine you know, how big that piece actually is. It's about 70 or 80 pounds approximately. But definitely the nicest piece. And then this piece, I'm not sure. This is, When I saw this piece, I almost thought it would be perfect for like where it sits right now. But I don't know. I just feel like it's overtaking. But again, I just don't know what type of scape I'm really going for here. So I'm just kind of playing around now. So this is really what's where it's, what's going to take long because this is the first scape I really have no clue what I'm really doing. I'm just kind of, you know, freestyling it really. And which all my scapes are, but at the same time, I usually have a good idea of what I want to do. This, I literally don't know. I just know I want an Igumi and that's it. So yeah, I'll just keep playing around and keep updating you guys and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will have something that hopefully looks pretty good. So I jumped a little ahead. I've been doing I've been at it for quite a while and so I think I'm pretty like 95% there. I think I pretty much like what's going on right now. So so obviously I buried so a lot of this I buried more so that that this rock is still gives out a big impression It kind of still makes that one the main stone To where it doesn't really dwarf that one that much because that one is huge But like when you put it next to like another huge one It almost makes that one look tiny in perspective So obviously we don't want that and then this one. I th I think I definitely will keep this um I think I might try to bury it more. I think that's what it's missing honestly because I feel like we can kind of see right here and then like, I don't know, it kind of just stays the same height. So either that goes higher or that goes lower, but I think lower is going to be the better option. I think we bury that a little more and kind of just, so it's a little bit like less, probably about half the height here. And I think I'll, I'll mess with that and see what that looks like. I think that will be a better option. Um, and then, yeah, then honestly, I think I like it. Like, I think this is like, you know, Igumi's not, I mean, Igumi's a hard, it's a hard scape to do because it's not much, but like once you get the carpet in and it just always looks good, it, there's not, it doesn't have to be complicated is what I'm trying to say is it doesn't have to be like this tank where all the detail, you know, Igumi's, it's mostly just a, you know, a couple main stones and then, you know, just like how I have it, just some details, and then you just go ahead and carpet. It's kind of just how the Igumi works and, I'm just so used to doing so much detail lately that I'm almost like not okay with this, but like at the same time, I have to look ahead of like, oh, what is what is it gonna look like once it's all carpeted and it's gonna change a lot. So, so yeah, so basically the plan was to be obviously adjust that a little bit and see if that looks any better, add some more pieces and I'll obviously show you guys that if I do. Um, I did add, add this piece cause it kind of matched this rock well better. The piece I did have was like a little more dark 
gray so it didn't really match that well and i didn't like that but then over here i got this piece coming off this edge it kind of fit nicely and then this piece i have this piece coming off this for honestly can't really see it but it just adds an extra little piece back there so when you look back there just extra little detail but other than that then yeah i'll go ahead and pour powder i have a nine liter bag so honestly i don't even and i have obviously multiple three liter bags so i don't even know if i'm going to use all that but basically i'll go through and just you know coat the whole thing and that will basically you know cover up some of the stones as well that's kind of what i was waiting for is obviously i have to account for that powder coming up a lot more so but yeah i'll update you guys then so i think this about sums it up so basically I've added all the powder at this point that I'm going to add, and that basically finalized all the elevations that I'm going to do. So I basically I put it pretty high in the back, then basically just gradually sloped it nicely down to where it's still pretty high. Like if you look over here, I mean, it's still, I mean, this is a good like six, seven inches of soil. And then of course back there, I mean, this tank's 18 inches tall, so there's probably about a foot or more soil in that back over there. Probably about 14 inches maybe. Um... But yeah, so you give me like, as you can see, like this is nowhere near like the amount of detail as, you know, everything else around me. But at the same time, this is, Iagumi is such a different scape. And I mean, Iagumi is, there's rules that you need to follow for Iagumi for, to do it right. But at the end of the day, it's not a very complex, like it's not meant to be very highly detailed like this. I mean, it can be, but Iagumi just, it's, it's it's the whole focus of it is just the rocks and then obviously for it to truly be a yugumi it's it's mostly mostly just mid grounding in a, in a carpet plant and that's basically what we're going to do here obviously there's going to be no stems in here i mean we could potentially do stems down the road i'm not opposed to it um we could definitely i could definitely see some like stems going along the bottom here um but at the at the beginning i don't think at least for like maybe like the first year i think this is definitely just going to be a straight carpet carpeted tank for for a while and then say say if we don't end up rescaping this or whatever and we want to just keep this going which the thing is next year for um the ada contest for 2022 um i'm not sure which tank all it's gonna be between one of these two and i have a feeling i might want to do this one because i really do like it and it's different um this one not that it isn't different i mean it's just it's just been it's not nothing that's new though so so unless this one turns out like super good then more than likely we'll use this one for next year but but yeah if i if i feel like tweaking it tomorrow before i plant it i definitely will but i think for the most part i think it's gonna look pretty good i mean again once once the carpet starts growing obviously we're gonna dry start this for like a, a good month month and a half basically until the whole thing's just carpeted basically no we're i'm near i'm in no rush at all so i'll just let this thing dry start for quite a while um i'll have to get the ada stand ordered because obviously we took out the the light and then our twin star so we got that removed so obviously i'll get a solar rgb for this tank and then also there'll be a solar rgb for this tank so i have to get two of those coming and then the ada stand for this one and then this one's actually going to use the onf stand uh this one might use the onf stand too which i would i'd prefer them to match but if i'm already ordering solar rgb i might just go ahead and order their stand too just to match but yeah that's pretty much the plants here so yeah again like the scape the scape i mean it's nothing it's nothing like grand or nothing but but i think definitely when everything's carpeted and you stand back and you first walk in and you see just a big lush green carpet especially with the solar rgb how good it's going to make everything i think this tank's going to be it's going to be super popular and it's going to just look real nice when you first walk in here um just because that just the, i think the best way to explain this is the more simple it is I think the, the the more beauty that it comes out of it and so and you see this all the time in the ada gallery and all that some of the just the simple yagumis and how good, almost they're almost some of the best tanks in the gallery even though they're so simple almost so but yeah if you guys are still watching if you guys hanged in have been hanging on this whole video thanks for watching um there'll definitely be another video of me planting this tank there'll be a a time lapse for sure of me planting this and doing a dry start for this tank as well i won't really go over the dry start just because i did a video on that already with the 45f but i'll at least still film it and show you guys it planting it and then obviously going through the steps of just starting the dry start again explaining that again for some people that might not watch the other video but other than that comment like, subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one